Good morning. Are you out there? Hey, it's Mark. Redo over. Sunday morning. We're going to record a couple of uh, iron and heroic challenges. Uh, got my coffee. Everything we need for a nice, nice Sunday morning. Hmm. That's good. That's hot. A little cream, a little sugar. It's the way everyone should like it. All right. Um, we had just completed the wastes. Iron Heroic Challenge yesterday. Uh, got through them without much trouble at all, honestly. Um, so we're going to be moving on here. C Kingdom Rush, original. And we're trying to tackle these on veteran mode. We used Oni last time. So let's move on to our final hero we haven't gotten to yet, which is Thor. Um, I have not played with Thor before. I think he was another one of the pay guys in the old iOS version. I could be wrong about that. It was a long time ago, but I've never used him. But let's just listen to his voice real quick. For Midgard. For Midgard. For Midgard. For Midgard. It's, it's not too bad. It's just kind of like a, a beefy guy. He's like sort of like a Chad voice. Uh, Thunder made flesh. This gigantic demigod wields a warhammer enchanted with the power of lightning and thunder. He is the son of the storm god, Thor, and a trusted friend of King Denas, the king. Um, he has two special abilities, Molinor, yeah, Mol, you don't say the J, J is silent, or is it like an H, Mol, Mahol, Holnir, <laughs> Molnir, yeah. I don't think, I think the J is silent, Molnir, I don't know what's, I don't even know why it's there, but it's Molnir. And then Thunderclap. I am assuming Thunderclap is an AoE. Like a kind of, you know. Um, and Molnir is probably just a really powerful strike he does with his hammer. Or he throws it. or You know, it's like a mass damage thing. But this guy's tough. He's got a bunch of hearts. Maxed out melee. No range. But he, he's pretty fleet footed. And I think his pips are identical to Oni's. Just looking at it. So they're, they're probably relatively comparable, I hope. But let's select him. For Midgard. For Midgard. And we're going to hit done. But yeah, let's get to it here. We're taking on the Forsaken Valley. Uh, and we have to get our stars still. I have two gold stars from doing normal. But we need to get three gold stars to open up the Heroic and the Iron Challenge. And actually, it looks like the Dark Tower is the same thing. We'll have to get to that. So let's uh, let's do it now. Let's do the campaign for the Forsaken Valley. I was going to come back and do all the all the campaign battles on Veteran anyway. So we'll just do this one right now. And that'll be it for uh, for the old Forsaken Valley. Excuse me. So to battle. Yes, this is a good one. This is fun. Um, all right, we got 19 waves. We're going to have demons coming from the left side, or the west side. And we're going to have brigands and knights and, you know, uh, marauders, that kind of thing, coming from the right side. So we're going to want mage towers, magic on this side, and, like, artillery and archers on this side. 1,300 gold is a pretty good amount to start with. I honestly don't know how good Thor is going to be here. Probably oh, pretty good. So, uh, the so one thing I like to do with this one, just because it's it's relatively simple in what they're doing, is let these guys, let the enemies get chewed up before they get to you. So I, I do like to put the backstop on the back, so I can only have essentially one holding spot, as opposed to trying to develop one on the right side and one on the left side. So let's just start with... Uh, the reinforcements right here for now. We'll just hold that. And then, yeah, let's just get some Might and magic. mage towers. Spell on you. Ready. Four. Bandits in, are pretty weak in the demon spawn. Pretty Dodge weak. This. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we might want to buff. Bullseye, beef up a couple like of these. So check this Freedom. out. You could put your reinforcements on this little like crumbly roadway here this is where the um fire elementals or the, the magma elementals come out of but since they can walk there your guys can go here the reason that's important 
is all the demons that are to be coming on this side path. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, let's get let's get something to support our tower back, our, our barracks real quick. I want to make sure no one gets through here. Okay, we got it. Some in the next wave, they'll take care of that. So yeah, check this out. I can put my reinforcements here. In a big part of the reason I use this strategy is because the demon's internal combustion will blow up any defenders we put along this pathway. That's why I don't like to put defenders. I like to let the towers hit them, and then there's nothing for the infernal combustion to hit. We need we need more here. <laughs> I gotta keep beefing these towers up or we're gonna die real fast. But uh, yeah, that's my general strategy is to put these guys off to the side. It even works for the armored guys pretty well. Yeah. Can he take all of these? Let's put it let's put in another barracks. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna grab that one on the back there. I'll send Thor to help. These guys are really weeny. We'll beef them up here in a little bit, but but that's good enough for now. It's good enough. We'll throw in some more reinforcements. But I'm essentially just going to fill in all these slots and then get them improved from level 1s to level 2s as quick as I can. Flying guys, is that it? That wasn't that bad. Flying guys aren't a problem when you don't have other distracting mobs walking at the same time your enemies are flying. Then it's too much to handle. Ooh, I didn't summon that last wave early. All right. All right. I was hoping to summon all the waves early and see if I get an achievement for it, but it's okay. Ooh, that's a lot of wolves. Here, we need we need to beef this up more. This is not beefy enough. Uh, trying to keep it somewhat symmetrical for firepower. But I can tell already that the left side's weaker, which makes sense because mage towers deal a lot more damage per shot than archer towers. And I don't think they miss as often. Have you noticed like mage towers never miss, but arrows miss a lot? I could be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments if you do know. I don't know if mage towers can never miss, I just know arrows hit the road a lot. Sucks. So let's do... A little more improvements. We'll summon the wave early again. We're on wave five. Might be a little more challenging. These are the armored guys. Dark Knights. But the other good thing about using this, this like little strategy is the armor won't help these guys. Oh, crud. Shadow Archer. Sons of guns. Freaking hate Shadow Archers. Ugh. Yeah, look at they're just taking out our, our legionnaires there. But then our mage towers take out the shadow archers, so it's all even. It's all good in the end. Alright, let's go for our final Oh shit, one of the guys made it through. Look at him. But, ah, he's just killing our little our little uh footmen. Or they're not footmen, they're militiamen. They ain't gonna it's not gonna work on Thor. Those arrows aren't they aren't doing nothing to Thor. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta make these tougher, dude. These guys, one demon is just killing all three of our guys when, when he explodes. It'll, that'll make him a little tougher there. We might beef him up more later. I don't know if we'll need to or not. Alright, next wave summoned. It's just more and more of this. I, I remember this pretty well. This is one of my favorite. Just because I, it, it's... I want to say it's easy, but... There's a lot of things you can do to mess around with it. Like, we could have done, like, a bunch of, like, artillery archers all along here. That would be cool also. But this isn't really hard so far. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to beef this up just to take out these shadow archers. See, they're going to stop back here to pelt our guys, but this one's in a perfect position to kill the shadow archer. Now let's, let's do this one, too. Same thing, right? Boom. Get him, get him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, these guys need more help, though. This is cool. We got all the tower slots filled in now. We'll summon the next wave. That's the other reason why you can summon the wave so early, is because the new guys have to... It'll take them so long to get around to the back that these guys can be finishing off the, the previous wave while the new wave is coming in. So, works out good. Uh, can't remember. Uh, you know what? 
It's gonna take out that demon. We haven't used uh, Reign of Fire yet, but I don't want to mess with the Demon Lords. Invulnerability is is a really bad thing when you don't have it and the other guy does. Just words of wisdom, tips for life, kids. Invulnerability sucks when you don't have it. <laughs> like Superman. It's like, can you imagine being the bad guy and then like Superman shows up and it's like, screw you, dude. You're you're like a god on earth. <laughs> You just give up crime. That's what you do. That's the reality of the DC universe. Is you just stop, Freedom! just stop trying to be bad. Superman just comes in and just smacks you. Just get put down that bag of money, you freaking bank robber. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to mess with the necros. Um. Here we got to get this guy taken care of. Trying to get, I'm trying to get the Necro to stop. Ooh, this is not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right there. Get him, get him. We need this guy dead. Oh, crud. Here comes the Magnum Elemental. Son of a gun. Oh, we almost got him. Finish him off. Finish him off. Yes. Okay. Um... This is actually pretty beefed up now. These are all level 2s, except to the end there. I think they can take out the Magma Elemental. Okay, this is interesting. This wave is only demons on this side, it, look, it looks like. So... I'm just going to bring down the Reign of Fire. I think we can handle this. This guy is going to die. He's... Yeah. Those, uh... Those uh, arcane adept towers are taking him down to the problem. Let's do our final improvement here. There we go. That's everything. All of our towers are now level 2, including the barracks. So far, only one guy really slipped through, and we were able to get him with the reinforcement. What do we got next? Okay, so the next wave, it's only armored guys on the right side. No demons on. So we'll put our reinforcements over here. And we'll summon the wave early and put more reinforcement. So yeah, we'll just take the towers up to tier 3 now. Just get get more shot power, more range. Oh, this guy. Dark Slayer is actually pretty tough. Eh, he's going down. He's going down fast. More reinforcement. Well, two of them disappeared. But These guys are so deadly when they're throwing all those spears. Quite potent. Then these guys show up. Right, here we go. We're gonna start going to these level three towers. It'll make short work, short work of these guys. Yeah. Go ahead, run, run, run. See how effective that is? They're just they're running the gauntlet, and all these mage bolts are just cutting them apart. Oh, another magma elemental. See how great these reinforcements are? They can. Everyone can hit the magma elemental as it comes out. So they don't, they're not that big of a deal. If you, if you have this like ring of, of death around. Although I don't think all these can hit it. Some, yeah, like some of these can't, but like these guys can hit it. That archer tower can hit it. All right, flying wave. Imps, gargoyles, imps, or, okay. All right, let's summon them early. This shouldn't be hard. Oh, well. They're a lot closer together, to be quite honest. Here, let's uh, go to level 3 Arch uh, Archer Tower. We'll do this one. It's doing a good job. I like to watch and see which side does better taking them down. Although, the fact that the reinforcements kind of despawn on a regular like basis doesn't help. But it looks pretty even. Damage output's pretty even there. We can do more improvements. Um... Do it. Hmm. There we go. Might and magic. You get a lot of money on this level. In general, it doesn't take a particularly hard strategy. It, this is a fun one. This is like a, a must-do level. Just because it's enjoyable. I, I'm not even using an artillery. I could. It would be very effective against... Uh, well, back back here, artillery would be really effective if you needed it. 
But I rely on artillery so much. Sometimes it's fun to mix it up. Alright, alright, hold on. We gotta, we gotta stop these guys. Ah, oh, I missed this one. That's not good. We need to kill this guy pronto. Oh. Come on. Necros are dangerous on any level, especially because we don't have artilleries. Like, imagine if he summoned, like, 20 or 30 skeletons, skeleton knights. We don't have an artillery to do mass damage. We might actually want to get an AoE damage. Like, we could do, like, a musketeer tower with the shrapnel shot. Or we could put it back here. I'm not going to worry. We'll worry about that later, but... Or we could do paladins with their, their holy strike. We have no AoE potential to defend ourselves. We have a lot of money. Here, let's just build these up. Summon that early. Okay. We're getting there. Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. More... More Necros. Let's just kill them off. There we go. Both dead. So it does two, two, alternating. But just take them out fast. Don't mess with them. It's not worth it in the slightest. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to improve these towers back here by our backstop just to help give them some proper support, some proper stopping power in case something tough gets through. I think I remember like the magma elementals come more frequently, like the last, we're on stage 13 now, or wave 13. I think on like the final wave or wave 18, they, they send out like 10 of them, like not right, like just one and then... Ten seconds later, another, or something like that. Um, we're handling the magma elementals really well, but they have a lot of hit points. A lot of hit points. No armor. That's going easy. This is great. This is seriously zero. No sweat. No sweat. They're not even really getting close to us. Thor's not even breaking a sweat. He's only level three because he's done so little fighting. There we go. Ooh, you know what would be fun is a, uh, get like a musketeer tower with uh, the one shot one kill and just as they come out just blow the rocks out of their heads. <laughs> their thinking spot is the thinking rock up there. Uh, I'm going to keep, I'm going to prove everything to level three and then we'll, we'll do like a musketeer tower and like an arcane wizard or a sorcerer or whatever the heck. I don't know if a sorcerer would be that useful, actually, because I don't really want to use the elemental, the, the big defender guy they have, because this whole strategy is about not stopping the guys on the road, but letting them walk through. We'll pr probably do, like, our Ar arcane wizards, then. Maybe some disintegration, teleports, just fun stuff. Uh, Alright, let's keep improving. I think we're almost... There we go. Oof. That's a hail of arrows there. This is great. This is great fun. These guys have no chance. Let's, um... Let's do a musket musketeer garrison. Look, look, dear looted. I'm rolling. We got some horses on our side. Horses! Let's, uh, yeah, let's give them a sniper shot. There's no guarantee it's gonna work when we want it to, but it, it would be fun. And then let's do uh, Arcane Wizard. Teleport would also be good on this, because this one really works with the, I the idea of the guys going back and then having to keep walking. The more walking they do, the worse it is for them. That's the whole defense, is you have to walk to here. Where Thor is going to smash you with Molnir. Molnir? Yeah. Freedom! All right. These magma elementals come out at weird times, but eh, I'm not even gonna bother putting the legionnaires here because the shadow archers just kill them. Oh, here we go, disintegration, death ray. I call it disintegration. Let's see if we can disintegrate, disintegrate him. <laughs> come on. <laughs> eh, eh. Oh, maybe the dark slayer will get disintegrated. I wouldn't mind that at all. Or shadow archer. Maybe shadow archer will get disintegrated. I hate them worse than the, the Dark Slayers. <laughs> mm. It's good stuff. 
Oh, there we go. We got a disintegration. The big thing on this, though, is I do need the three stars, so that means we can't go below 18 health. Now, this is all wasted. I'm not trying to do this just to get a veteran when I need three gold stars to unlock the heroic and the iron. That's why we're actually doing this right now. Uh, we'll summon the wave early. Let's see here. Let's do, uh, yeah, we'll just, let's do a ranger hideout. We'll do, again, I'm not, I don't need the sheep or the rock elemental, so we'll just do arcane wizards over here. I'm going to give this guy teleport. And then we'll do, uh, we'll do wrath of, eh. no, I'll do wrath of the forest here, just where the musketeer tower is, just so they can kind of support each other. I don't think Wrath of the Force works. I know it doesn't work on flying creatures, though. That wouldn't make sense, would it? Let's watch. I don't think it would do anything to him. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. It wouldn't. That wouldn't make sense. The roots come out of the ground, so that's good. that's good internal logic on the part of Ironhide Studios. All right, next waves just more of the same. Oh, plus the magma elemental. Come on. Oh, disintegration. <laughs> yeah. That was that was good. We've only got one one death raid tip in there, so that was good. Teleport here, let's see. Head oh, headshot. Alright, let's keep going. Um We'll do another Ranger hide. I'll kinda of alternate them, I guess. Do an Arcane Wizard here. It's actually a lot of guys coming through here. That invulnerability is tough. Ooh. I have a rain of fire if I need it. This guy's dead. That worked good. Oh, shit. Okay, that I lost a life. That's okay. I didn't notice there was two demon lords there until it was too late. I would have. I would have thought someone would have stopped that demon hound though. Just because he was invulnerable doesn't mean he's unblockable. Did the Thor not see him? That's kind of like Thor was just standing there. Ah, oh, dang it. I bet I could have just done like that. It's okay. It's okay. I, it's, this isn't pre-planned. I'm not trying to be perfect here. So. Spiders, what the heck? Okay. That That's kind of bad because spiders are super resistant to magic. Oh crap. Necro, hold on. Uh, I gotta kill this guy. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> There's another Necro on this side. Ah, <laughs> uh, headshot! Headshot! Freaking. <laughs> do, do something! Uh. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know how to stop this guy. Shit. Uh, shot my shot. Ah, oh, crud, dude. We're getting just hammered by necros right now. I don't have any. Ooh, this is bad. This... Here, I gotta. I'm gonna bring Thor in. Ooh boy, now it's getting real. Okay, um, let's do teleport to send him back. I'm sending Thorin. I gotta take out these guys. I'm using my Reign of Fire on on that, I guess. Come on, Thor will take him out. We get this guy. Just out of cash. Okay, okay. Dude, that wasn't even the last wave. That was only wave 18. We did it. When they spread out those Necros like that, it, it really is hard to... Like, you can't just rain a fire all of them with one shot, so that's okay. Final wave. We're looking at magma elementals. No, more necromancer. One and one, so we can handle that. One necromancer on each side. Um, I'm going to use a rain of fire on one, and then we'll just figure out what to do with the other side here. As soon as I see one, we will torch him. Necromancers do not like being burned in the rain of fire. Yeah, tip of the day. Almost no one does. Even the demons don't like it, which is kind of odd. You think they'd be fireproof? Or the magma elementals? You think they'd be fireproof? They are made of magma. 
Go figure. Like how spiders are poison resistant or immune, I would have made demons and magma elemental rain of fire immune completely. That just me. There's a lot of magma elemental coming out here. Oh, disintegrated. That was good. Let's uh, let's do more disintegration. Uh, that's already beefed up. There is a necro. Let's get it done. Yeah, got him. Okay, now we just got to get this guy right here, kill him, and we're golden. Get all these improved. Ah. Oh, wait, he got teleported back. I didn't realize that guy was just back there. It's working pretty good. The wrath of the forest is kind of holding him there. Let's do poison. I think necros can be poisoned. I don't think they're undead themselves. I think they're alive. So poison doesn't work on skeletons either. Oh, is this it? That wasn't hard. We lost one health, that demon hound. But I could have I could have stopped it had I been paying attention. Cool. Three gold stars. I'll take it. Continue. Uh, yeah. There we go. So uh, that's it for now. We got two gold stars here. We're almost done with our upgrades. So we have two of the 12 gold stars we need. We only need 10 more gold stars and all the upgrades will be done. If you watched, thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up. You take care.